loyal, brilliant, loving, kind, accepting, outstanding leader. She's just such a special person that makes you feel like you're part of her family and something so much bigger than yourself. Wise and dependable. Gentle. Happy. Yeah, positive. Joyful. Athletic. athletic. Always about the business of getting things done. Strong. Strong. She is dedicated to the community. A, a former gold team captain. So she is competitive and she is athletic. In my early years here, I was told that there would be a gold-white game on a field day between the faculty and administrators. Suddenly, the game begins and Sister Berkman's is running circles around me and everyone else. And I just love her. Visionary. A visionary. A visionary. I mean, he's a visionary. A, a very astute on, on top of, of what's going on. I get my interview and I go into Sister Mary Berkman's office to just talk to her. As soon as I said I wanted to see about bringing my son Tommy to daycare, setting up daycare with him, she immediately responded by saying, yes, I think this is a great idea. And that moment launched the daycare center at Visitation that exists still today. She's an amazing role model for all of us. She epitomizes the Salesian virtues in every way possible. She's just a very special person. And I have always felt so supported by Sister. Sister Berkman's exemplifies dedication to the students in how, when I was a student, um, she always demanded more of us, and not in a way that was overbearing, uh, and not even necessarily in the academic realm, but as individuals, as people. She forced us to look at who we were as people and to rise to the dignity of what it meant to be a visitation student. You know, you come to a high school and you think, oh my gosh, I'm going to this all-girls high school, I have to behave, I have to be good. And you have a headmistress who is supposed to be the principal of the school and you're supposed to revere them and respect them and, and in some ways be terrified of them. But what was beautiful about Sister Berkman's and all the religious sisters here was they were able to have that grace and authority with us while still showing that love and appreciation and respect for who we were as growing young women. But if a child wasn't in school, I recall many times sitting with sister here until late at night and the parents uh, rectifying all the situations. Sister always had a solution for everything. And it was a good solution, but it was also a learning solution. Sister has long understood the need for us to be able to provide financial resources for students who otherwise could not come to visitation. Strong students, students will make a real difference in our community, but who don't have the financial resources to, to come to visitation. Our annual fund, our endowment, and this gala uh, have always been with the focus of making sure that we provide adequate financial resources for all the students who need it. Since it's my birthday, it would be a very nice idea for everybody in this room to offer a birthday present to me by making a gift to the Financial Supplement Fund. Sister Berkman, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday, sister. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sister Berkman. Bon anniversaire, Sister Berkman, and merci pour tout.